So if you're stuck on getting uh, Creative Commons images or getting them on your blog, let's watch this video to help you with that. So I've got the images on blog assignment, and if you watch this video right here on the story, uh, it'll help you make sure you're finishing it correctly. Because people who don't finish it correctly, I can tell you didn't watch the video because it told you how to do it right. But then we go to task and you follow these steps. Well, let me just make sure you, you do it correctly. So I'm going to go to my blog and I'm going to start a new post and I'm going to call it dolphins because maybe I really like dolphins and that's the topic I want to write about. And I can say dolphins are actually mammals, not fish. Maybe that's my first sentence that, that gets the reader's attention. Now you're going to write more. And if you don't know what to write about, well, there's Google. Go to Google and get some more information. Just write it in your own words. Don't copy what other people wrote. That's plagiarism. That's wrong. So you write your information, but you want to add photos. So I am going to go to search for dolphins. Now, since I want pictures of dolphins, I go to news. I mean, not news. <laughs> I go to images, and I see all these great dolphin pictures. Um, and I click one, and I go, yeah, I want to use that one. Uh-oh. Images may be subject to copyright. That's right. Pictures you find on the Internet, chances are... I agree to that. If I scroll way down on the page here, I'm going to find notice. I'm looking for copyright. Close that. Uh, and it's right here. Copyright 2020. All rights reserved. That means you can't take their pictures. Well, darn. Then how do I find a picture that I can use? Well, that's what this part of this assignment shows. Change the usage rights to Creative Commons. Oh, okay, I click on Tools, I go to Usage Rights, Creative Commons. Eh, now I find a happy, smiling dolphin, and when I click here, I can see that the usage rights, you know, let me move my picture up, accept that. This one is some rights reserved, that means it's Creative Commons, and this photographer lets you use their pictures, DKO Digital, on your blog. And, and some rights reserve, most Creative Commons, all they ask in return is a link back to them, because that's where you got it from. So I'll show you how to do that, too. So the next step here, it says, right-click on the image and select Save Image As. I'm going to right-click. And, oh, that doesn't work. Let me click on the image. Now, on Flickr, you actually have to go here to find a size. And I want small. I don't need anything too big. And look, it downloaded it. Otherwise, if I get the picture from here, I can right-click, and there's the save image as. Don't do... um save link or save link content, that won't give you a picture you can put on your blog. So now it's downloaded. So I'm gonna go to my post and just like it shows on the quest, here's the insert image. This one's insert video. I want to upload from computer. And same thing if you take pictures, you just have to, uh, if you take it on your phone, put it onto Google Drive so you can get it onto your computer, because once it's on your computer, look, you just got to find it either in downloads or pictures, depending on where you saved it. Click on it. Open that. <gasps> There's my picture. I clicked on it, and then I go to select. Boom. There it is. But I'm not done. I want to give a, a, a link back to where I got it. So if you click on the picture, you can do an alt text down. Let's not do that. Although alt text is really helpful because it makes sure that visually impaired people can still uh, know what your image is. Because if I do 
alt text, it'll tell them this is a photo of a dolphin. So visually impaired people, the computer will read that to them so they know you put a picture there. Now, I'm going to update that. See, you don't see it, but they do. And now I want to say this is where I got it from. So I have to go up here where you get a link. Remember, you click there, it highlights it all. And then I do Control C to copy. Go back to my blog, and I'm going to say image from Flickr. Highlight what you just wrote. And then go up here to the paperclip, insert or edit link. And you're going to paste where it says paste or, or search for a link. You're going to paste it right there. And I always click open link in a new window and add a no follow. Um, because those help people not lose your, your blog. And then once you apply, check it out. I'm going to publish. And you have to test it um, on, on view. Otherwise, your link won't work. And then I go here. I click. Boom! Look at that. That's how you finish this assignment and how you give credit to where you got your images.